everyone, welcome back. Alright, so in this episode we're picking up where we left off last time where we have completed the auto mode and the skip mode together. However, when running skip, we notice that there are a few small issues that occur, and which is due to the rapid calling of commands. For the most part, everything that we've done is working flawlessly. But there are a few things that I want to note here. So if we start at the very beginning here, running through basically every command we've set up so far in this scene, I can skip through everything, make it all the way to the end, and what we wind up with is, well, everything is as it should be at the very end. That just means that all the commands are running properly. And we've made it to the end of the file, but in our console we have a couple messages saying another coroutine is already waiting for this coroutine. Uh, so that's something we'll have to fix, but the big one here is we have an error saying missing reference exception the type object type of raw image has been destroyed but you're still trying to access it. And if we look down here in the information, we can see that that error is being detected at the very top line uh, referencing the script for our graphic layer. So if we go there real quick, let me go ahead and stop this. Let's go ahead and click on that, and it'll take us right to the line that is giving us the error. So this is happening when we're destroying old graphics. So we know that with um, with these graphics, we're switching from one to the next in this scene. And somewhere along the way, it's trying to destroy a graphic that's already been destroyed. Now, a very simple way that we can fix that is we can just come through, because we're clearing this list anyway. We can just come through and say, if g is not or is uh, actually if g dot renderer because the renderer is what would be null so because g is just the class type that's not going to be null that's just a container for all the data so if g dot renderer is not equal to null then we need to make sure we destroy it and so if we were to go ahead and run that through unity skip it all through then we make it to the very end and we have cleared out that layer or that issue but of course, why was that an issue in the first place? Let's actually go ahead and remove this line and just stick with for each object and let's destroy every old graphic in there. So this uh, would cause us the error. As you can see right here at the very end, we get that error. This is coming inside of our graphic object when we are fading between one background to the other. For the one that reaches zero alpha, it gets destroyed and so if we look at destroy, where I logged a message here, we go ahead and just check that it has a, the layer has a current graphic, and if that current graphic is equal to this, then we go ahead and clear it and destroy the object, but you don't actually remove it from that old list, which means it was trying to clear something that got destroyed here. So instead what we can do is make sure that we remove it from the list. First thing we gotta do is we gotta make sure that that list is public and accessible. And that is the old graphics list here, so I'm just going to make this publicly accessible to the graphic objects. So now that we have access to that list, we can just do a quick check and say if layer.oldgraphics.contains this graphic object, then we just want to remove it. So layer.oldgraphics remove this. So we'll remove it and we'll destroy it, and then we should clear out that null issue that we were having. And now we go ahead and skip, we go through everything, get to the very end, and we have no error. So now we're handling that correctly. Now the next thing to deal with is this another coroutine is already waiting for this coroutine. And if we look down at the logs here, it's excellent for troubleshooting by the way, then we can see that this is coming from our character sprite layer under transition sprites. So as we're changing the expressions for these characters, something's happening in here when we're skipping at such a rapid rate that the same coroutine is trying to be yielded uh, by several different processes. So we need to fix that. That It's not breaking anything, but uh, it is annoying, and it is just logging this in the console, and we should get rid of it if we can. So let's go ahead and jump to that script. Uh, character sprite layer on line 51. So this line will be different for you if you've edited this, this script any or put any kind of comments in, but for me it's line 51. But basically, it's when we're calling transitioning sprite here. So we know that it can't be this line because we are assigning a coroutine and we're making sure that that stops anytime we ask for a new transition for a sprite. But it's still being triggered here, so we need to go to the next object down the list, which would be the actual coroutine transitioning sprite. If we look in that, then here's something 
we're going ahead and just yielding for the try start leveling alphas. So that would actually start a coroutine in itself, a brand new one. So that can't be it either. So let's look inside of there. Inside of coroutine, if is leveling alpha, here we go. So if we are leveling alpha, then we go ahead and return the leveling alpha coroutine. So apparently I was wrong when I did that and did not realize it. So what we should be doing is just going ahead and stopping it and then starting a new one. Doesn't matter if we're doing the same thing, doesn't matter if we're continuing off. If we're doing this in this skipping function, we want to make sure that we start a brand new coroutine every single time, and that new coroutine will just pick up where the old one left off. No big performance hit, so we can go ahead and take care of that. So if is leveling alpha, let's not return it, but let's say character manager dot stop coroutine, and we're going to stop co leveling alpha, and then just return a new instance of it. That way, we don't have multiple things trying to yield for the same coroutine. And let's go ahead and give that a whirl. Let's hit skip. Yeah, we go okay. through everything and we skip all the way to the end and we have absolutely no issues in our console now. But that leads me to question, is there anything else that we performed in that same way? And by we, I mean me. So if I look down here and we're going to the commands of the character, we have show whenever we reveal the character, we're doing the same thing. Let's make sure that we never return the coroutine that's already running, just for this particular reason. This is fine for uh, if if there's the command is not going to run multiple instances that could possibly run into the instance of returning a coroutine to the single coroutine to multiple uh, different checks. So let's go ahead and replace this with the character manager dot stop coroutine. And we're going to stop co revealing and we'll go ahead and do the same thing right here when we return hiding instead let's stop the coroutine co hiding and just start a new one if i look down at any of these other ones i think we might be good except for highlighting what we're going to do is we're going to change return co highlighting for character manager stop coroutine co highlighting so we could actually Change this, is highlighting or is unhighlighting. And just remove that line, combine them into one, and we're good. And we can do the same thing in unhighlight. We'll just replace that line with the check for both of them, and we're fine. Everything else in the character class looks to be good, and we don't have a chance of returning any of the same coroutine. So now then, I've gone ahead and increased the size of my test dialog file so it has a lot more in here, and I'm going to go ahead and roll through the whole thing. So let me go ahead and just start skipping. We're going to skip through everything, yeah. <laughs> run through multiple scenes here, lots of dialogue, lots of commands, scene changes, music, more characters, and we make it to the very end. And yes, indeed, I see a couple other issues here. So, but this is all actually the same thing just multiple times. So we can see it's all coming from the character sprite layer, so there's one more thing to fix there. Now again, we're trying to access something that's apparently been destroyed. So as we're rapidly moving through these, we could be deleting an object off of another command, and we just need to make sure that this is not null before we try to continue this logic, uh, which would be a good safeguard anyway. So how about we loop from the end to the start and then just remove any instances that are actually null. Rather than trying to set the color of every single old image that's being faded out on this character sprite layer. I've just replaced that with a backwards loop that gets the image, but if the image is null, then we go ahead and remove it and make sure that it's no longer in our list. So we're validating it in this command. And now let's go ahead and roll through it one more time and it should be taken care of. Let's skip through this massive scene. Yeah. <laughs> Still rolling, looking good. We're not having any issues. And we made it all the way to the end. Everything has run how it should and looks like we are good. So that's it. We've got our auto reader working and we've got the skip function working and we've taken care of those errors. 
If you notice there are some errors when you're running skip, go ahead and check those lines and it's probably getting a null reference. So make sure that you check your items for anything that may be null and make sure that you are not running the same coroutine for multiple yield statements. Always close out the coroutine and then start a new one. So looks like we've got everything working, so that's going to end this episode off and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.